it's something really meaningful for the person that's going to receive the trophy. And that's what I find rewarding for myself. The whole trophy from start to finish, from the, from the bare silver, is about 800, 800 man hours. You turn the medal over, you've got to beat that, it's not going to beat you. But you don't, like a bull at a gate, you treat it gently. We'll do a spinning 18 gauge sterling silver, and it's a metal that you really have to take your time with. You've got to be very careful you don't crack it. And early when you soften the metal, you get the metal more or less like a cherry red. If you get sterling silver any, any hotter than that, it'll melt. For a trophy that size, around about maybe 25 to 30 in Earls, you get it finished. On a hot day, it can knock you around a little bit. And the pressure, like doing one blank that's over 20 grand, one piece of metal, make one mistake, you're losing that value of the metal. I'd say it's patience. Like you can push that a little bit further, but that a little bit further you might crack it. Once he has finished, he will go upstairs to Laurie and he will actually polish it till it's a mirror finish. Um, it gets handed to Candela and she actually will start her chasing work. It is a rare skill, yes. There are not many chasers around. I saw it and I said, wow, what a challenge. <laughs> Working it all out was really hard. It took me a lot of time to get the first one done. Now that I got it sorted out, uh, it's an average of 45 hours or so. Uh, but the very first time it took me between 72 or 90 to get it done. They're all different, absolutely different. <laughs> That's always in my mind. I always know that it should be better. There's always a way to get things better. Even better. <laughs> Nothing is good enough. Once the chasing's been finished, I get the bowl back. And then what we do is we get all of our ornaments, the, the, all the faces, the handles, um, all the grapevines, everything we get in a wax, it's actually a, that's a form of a wax. And then I actually form all the waxes to each bowl because each bowl is going to be slightly different. And then I send the wax, the wax carvings out to get cast in sterling silver and then that way they're already fitted to the bowl basically. And a lot of pieces that get soldered together really close. Um, so you gotta be really careful not to heat it too much so the other castings that you've already done fall off. There's more time spent making sure a piece is in the right position before soldering than actual soldering it itself. It's just a matter of check twice, solder once rather than solder it into the wrong position and then you can't take it off anymore. The, the gold plating is put in at the very last, very, very last process. We filled up the trophy with the gold solution and um, run a current through the trophy and through the solution and it will gold plate the inside of the trophy. Totally separate to the trophy itself, we, have, we actually have to make a, an engraving plate that goes on the front which actually names the trophy and um, all the details and we actually have to make a wooden plinth. All the effort we, the, the whole team is putting into the making of it, uh, it's just as much as what the winner of the cup has 
done to get it. Very happy to see the job finished. Looks good. It's really good. If any of my family sees it, they usually let me know if they see it on TV and they're like, yeah, my son made that and yeah, it's really, it's quite nice seeing it on TV.